Today is Sunday, 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 August 22nd, 2021. My name is Alex. I'm your host at the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. We ain't dead yet. We've just been quiet. Just been quiet. We've just been in the cuts. Just wanted to come back to you. Let you know that we're still doing work. Things have just become busy. A lot of items have sped up. What's what was once on the back burner has now come to the forefront. And we are sauteing and filleting, flipping and dipping and stirring up. Look at a flick at a wrist. All that. So we're busy. We're busy. Blood's pumping. Blood's pumping, sugar is spiking, insulin is dumping, or is that or is that, or is that adrenaline? Is that is that adrenaline dumping? Good question, Alex. Good question. As y'all can, as y'all have noticed, as y'all might have noticed, if you have access to a phone or a, a computer or the fucking news, everybody's all hyped. About what's going on in the Middle East. Frankly, frankly, I think it's cool that we pulled out. I'm not an isolationist, but at the same time, I don't really care. Um, We could have done way more going in and shaking hands and brokering peace than uh, backstabbing motherfuckers and just bombing entire families out of existence. Yeah. Just imagine, imagine the uh, the sheer quantity of bloodshed that had to go in to essentially not effectuating any change whatsoever. We <laughs> actually, we went in and just fucked shit up because you go back and look at pictures from the 50s and the 60s, maybe a little bit into the 70s, they were doing some things. They were doing some things. They were building some things. Shit, they had buildings to bomb then. And now, just a fucking pile of rubble. (laughs) But that's leadership for you. That's when you got managers. That's when you got bosses. When you don't have leaders. When your leadership lacks leaders. All you have are managers. All you have are perceived and self-acclaimed bosses self-proclaimed bosses just because they got the rank just because they got the title just because they have a salary just because they have a slightly more perceived power they think they're in a position of power but as i've already mentioned before when you when you are in a perceived position of power you must recognize that you have something to lose you have that position to lose Or you could be in that position and you have the power to lose. So you could be a high-ranking member and have dick for power. (laughs) Just be a marionette. A fucking order taker. I.E. not a leader. Just a manager. (laughs) You're You're out here managing wars. Not conducting them. Not leading them. Not actually pushing through. And again, war is the last resort. Business is necessarily war. But if all is fair in love and war, who's to say you cannot broker peace just by shaking hands? That's all you need, really. Handshake and a smile. That's all it takes. When you've seen enough, when you've seen enough in this world, when you've seen enough and you've witnessed it, you've gotten a chance to interact with it, when you've put your eyes on it, when you've been able to weigh it out, when you've been able to put it on a scale, when you've shaken hands with it, when you've looked it dead in the eyes, winked and smiled at it, when you've smoked it, when you've snorted it, when you've drank it, you already know what it looks like. (laughs) You already know what it looks like. So you know how to identify it. You know how to work with it. Otherwise, you're just a naive motherfucker. You could be 60, 50, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old. 
three star, four star, five star, N star. Who the f who the who gives a fuck? You could still be as innocent as a baby, or is it naivety? You could be as naive as a as an adolescent, not know what the fuck is going on around you, <laughs> like a virgin. <laughs> Like, not even a virgin, bro, because some virgins know, like a fucking, like a, like a square, like a, not even a square, because some squares are sharp, <laughs> just like a, like an idiot, absolutely like an idiot, like a useful idiot, in the traditional meaning of the word, which is just low IQ, Maybe well-mannered, maybe well-intentioned, but easily controllable, easily man manipulatable, easily manipulable. Is that it? Manipulatable? Manipulable. Damn, I got to look that one up. But what you wouldn't do for another stripe, what you wouldn't do for another piece of tin on your chest. Is that is that not how the saying goes? Or did I just make that one up? <laughs> Business is war, and you do it first by reaching out, right? Unless you're going to be on the sneak, on the sneak attack. But even then, you got to fucking do it right. Fucking proxy wars and shit. Get the fuck out of here. Mismanagement and misappropriation of funds is what it more, is what it, <clears throat> is more what it looks like. Eh, I, I guess that sounds right. Yeah, rest assured, <clears throat> I'm looking for another host. I'm already recruiting. I'm prospecting a couple folks. So we might have one soon enough. Until then, it's just me, man. At least it's just me that you'll be listening to. It's just me that you'll be hearing from. Others in the field. I mean, I'm cultivating some. It's a little, it's a little harder because everybody has commitments. Everybody has a schedule to keep. <clears throat> Everybody's a fucking professional. Everybody's doing their own bid, their own bitings, biding their time <clears throat> in order to stay ahead in this life, in order to get ahead in this life and build something. So essentially, I have to sell them on the idea that building the public image of corporate cowboys will inevitably benefit its private. <clears throat> conduct it's private undertakings ultimately that's the goal the goal is to have folks recognize so i have to continue publishing these i can't lag i can't lag i know i took a breath i took a breather i was busy i was under a deadline i was under the fucking gun and i and i had to crank out some product but but that doesn't detract from the fact that i have a personal obligation to myself to develop myself professionally, socially, diplomatically, personally, via or via, 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 via this podcast. And like I said, like I started with, that's the goal of having this podcast is to be able to express overtly or put out there into the universe the type of energy the type of vibration that i want the ideas that we need or i think we need right because they could be wrong at the very end at the very end you feel me at the very end on the fucking river <laughs> on the river you might get <laughs> that other eight and you got aces and eights and you're fucking dead right it happens. It happens. But in the very end, just know that that I'ma still smile when when the river when the river turns. You gotta. You have to. You have to accept. It's a game of it's a it's a you have to accept. It's a game of life. And life and death are both a part of life. Life is life is a part of death. You have to live first to die, right? And death is a part of life. You have to die in order to have lived. But that's neither here nor there. It's a little more esoterical. 
Um, what was I on? The Middle East. Nah. You know, what happens, happens. Um, I guess my recommendation or <clears throat> the sponsor for this episode is going to be, uh, what is that? The Ender 3000? That's <laughs> a fucking 3D printer. Because y'all got to fucking catch up to these folks in the Middle East. They got all this free hardware. I know we can't 3D print a motherfucking MRAP yet. <laughs> so we got to start small. We got to start with small arms. <laughs> oh, man. Just seeing these pictures of all these arms of these fucking uh, vests. These carriers, these vehicles, the, 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 just the gear, fuck, the gear, the, the nods, the helmets, all of it, all of it. And, um, I can't help but, but be a little proud and a little envious. I mean, you got to hand it to these folks who, who stuck it out in the middle of the fucking desert for generations, mind you, for generations. And, uh. And then a little jealous of the fact that they ult- at the end of the day, at the end of this uh, game, at the end of this campaign, at the end of this program or this project or this initiative launched by, launched by pseudo quasi governmental entities, damn, they came up with the loot. They came up with the loot. And some folks would kill for that. <laughs> some some folks actually did kill for that. Some folks died for it too. Some folks fell to their death from like fifteen thousand feet, from like ten thousand feet, for these motherfucking M raps. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well, it being Sunday, just want to remind you, want to refresh you, uh, let you know that. We're still kicking. We're still alive. I know I haven't put up a proof of life in a minute, but I haven't had too much time to doodle. We don't have a whole lot of time to doodle. Um, I mean, I've been in a lot of meetings, but the meetings have been nonstop, 100 miles an hour from the get. From the get, 100 miles an hour. And um, I've just been a busy, a busy man. Busy, busy man. Um, you want to visit the page that's incorporating dot associates underscore it. Do I get that wrong every fucking time? Hold on. Let me, let me double check. Let me double triple. That's incorporating dot associates underscore I a, and you'll find us. You can also look at, look us up just typing in corporate cowboys. You'll recognize the profile picture. Do not get it twisted. You want to subscribe to the Patreon? By all means, do that. That's the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Uh, subscribe, you know, for a monthly. I'm, I'm going to adjust the tiers a little bit because I hope to be dropping uh, uh, more content and maybe better content uh, if I if I finally if I close it if I close it with this uh, co-host. Um, but again, that's in the works. And I make no guarantees until until you, the listener, and I have a motherfucking contract with some solid terms and conditions. You know what I mean? I could, I'm keeping it as professional as possible. And I'm being diplomatic by communicating to you my progress and its ongoing development. Okay? Um, you can shoot us a donation. We've got Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. Uh, and that all goes to the operation of this, keeping it nonprofit. And when it's legitimized, when it's formally filed and 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 made official, uh, you'll know some things are are in the pipeline, not just in the fucking woodwork, not just not just on the back burner, but in the motherfucking pipeline, in the chamber to get squeezed off, and um, <laughs> to go public. Um, um, I do want to wish you a great week. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, you know, drop us a like anywhere this podcast is published. Just know that you can find us on Instagram. We tend to uh, drop uh, a post 
a post a week. I think it's gone down a little bit to like a post a week. But I, I tried to motivate putting two up at least so that folks know that we haven't dropped off of the face of the earth. And um, every now and then in the stories, keep a lookout. I mean, there's a, there's there's maybe there's there'll be there'll be some news or a, a doodle or a post or, you know, because I like staying occupied and just thinking, thinking of what could be thinking of what might be and thinking of what shall be. <laughs> uh, take it easy. Have a great Sunday. God bless.